This is April Setti with New Jersey Buzz Talk Show, and Buzzy B and I are buzzing around New Jersey. And we happen to stumble across a really cute little place called the Hidden Spring Lavender Farm. And with me today, I have Marie. She's going to tell us all about how she got started and how, and a little bit about the gift shop. So, Marie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, we started five years ago starting uh, lavender plants, and I wasn't sure they were going to grow. And uh, the first year they took off and they actually bloomed. The second year uh, we put in another 2,000 and we started having people come to the farm asking if they could pick their own lavender. So uh, in the midst of all of that, we were refurbishing our cow barn and um, I thought this would be a great place to have a little lavender shop. So with that, we re re renovated it and I started making our own products which was a real learning curve because I had to learn how to make lotions and soaps and all kinds of products. We have anything in here from aromatherapy items that I sew to um, pampering hand kits to florals to our trademark Boina Bear who's soft and cuddly and he's stuffed with lavender. Um, we have gifts for anyone. Uh, we have some men products that um, that are very popular as well. And it's just a fun place to be. Now, lavender um, is very therapeutic. What does lavender do for the mind, body, and soul? So lavender is great uh, to relax anxiety, and um, it calms. It's great for headaches. Um, it's great for anxiety, um, not anxiety, um, eczema, psoriasis, nosebleeds, um, dandruff, uh, bee stings, which I get stung a lot. We do have bees, and um, it's it just takes the sting right out. Any insect bites? You say I did not know that. So I need to bathe in lavender because yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of bathing products. Um, we have a shower gel. Um, we only use 100% essential oil in our products. Uh, we we don't use any fragrances. We distract our own oil in our distillation room, and we have uh, several high-yield uh, lavender varieties that, that we extract from. Yeah, so we buzzed by today, and you weren't expecting, but you're getting ready to go out and plant out. How many more lavender? Uh, about 1,500. And you have the bee farm, so you made bee honey with lavender. Um, how? What inspires you to do all of these unique things? Well, um, I first started doing it for something pretty out in the field, and then I realized um, how many people enjoyed it and how good it was for the body, how, many, um, how much medicinal purposes it had and how it really does help people. Um, so it, 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 it concerns me that they're in this state of age, you know, that there are so many people disturbed. Uh, we do benefits for the carrier clinic. We have nurses that come here. Um, we have psychiatrists that come in here, therapists um, that buy our products, um, anything from our room spray to just some lavender buds to help their patients. Um, so it's it's um, it energizes me to do more. And uh, the more I can do to help people, that's what I want to do. I know. So in a really awesome therapeutic way, you're giving back to the community. Now, prior to owning the farm, now you were telling the story, which we're going to get into in a second. But prior to that, were you always in the farm business or were you corporate America? I was corporate America. This was my part time deal. Um, last January of 2015, I was let go from my corporate job after 36 years. Oh, bummer. But, you know, things work out for a reason. And um, I took this on full time, and now I'm able to go out and do marketing and um, vendor shows and um, talks at churches and garden clubs. And we have tours here. So it's, it's helped me grow the business. And you have the professional aspect of corporate America behind it. So that does help a lot. Now, um, this was a family farm, correct? Correct. Yes, my parents owned the farm for 25 years, and um, when my father got ill um, five, six years ago, and then he passed, uh, we purchased, my husband and I purchased the farm from them, from him, from her, and um, that's when I started the lavender. 
Yeah, so um, as I say, you know, something uh, turning lemons into lemonade. Yeah. Now, um, this store is adorable. And you. you also have the be what is it called? The Buzz, the buzz in. in. Tell us about the Buzz In. The Buzz In was a, a playhouse that my husband and I bought uh, that I we made for our daughter. And when we moved here, we brought the playhouse with us because I couldn't stand to leave it somewhere. So um, we, I fixed up the outside. It was it was all painted differently. So I I painted it to match a little rustic touch. And uh, it's now the Buzz In where I keep all my bee supplies and where I extract the honey. Nice. So how long have you had the bees? We've had, well, we've had several colonies collapse, but I've kept replacing them. So now we have four hives and each year I plan on adding more. I know because right now there's a huge issue with bees and, you know, people are, it's kind of becoming like backyard beehives for, you know, to keep them alive because without the bees, we don't have food. Without food, we don't live. <laughs> so, correct. Um, so, you know, for the bees, so you extract does it make you nervous? I mean, do you get stung a lot? <laughs> I get stung, but um, actually bee venom is is therapeutic to the body as well. Um, so I don't mind getting stung. The part that I don't like is that the bee dies when it stings. So every time a bee stings, it dies. So I try to be as gentle as possible. And um, the main thing is to stay calm while you're working with bees. Don't have anybody around you that's a little anxious about it try to make them go away because the beads will feed bees will feed on that anxiety feeling yeah they um they, they sense that they sense the fear mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you're sweating so i won't ever yeah. be <laughs> doing a beehive uh, keep maintaining them but i'll i'll promote those who do so um also now is there opportunity you were saying something about you might be doing a festival next year well we would love to do a lavender festival um, July, August time frame of next year. Um, that's kind of like my goal where I'm going. And uh, we'll just have to see how things play out with that. So how can people find information about how to get here? Oh, you have a website? We have a website, hiddenspringlavender.com. And we're also on Facebook. And we're on Instagram. Well, thank you so much. This place is adorable. And if you happen to love the color purple or just need to be decompressed or de-stressed, uh, this place is a little hidden gem. So go to the website at www.hiddenspringlavender.com.